Clyseer, Treasure Adventure World. In the last part, we did the mushroom area and got high jump. And we also bought this house that I'm exiting. Um, seems like it could still use some fixing up, but uh, I don't really know how to go about that. Um, so let's just head for the next legendary treasure. Which, unlike normal, when I think it's one island away, is actually one island away. <laughs> I've uh, definitely had some navigational problems. Wait, can I high jump out of the boat? I can't remember if the command was up and jump or down and jump. But I tried both. But uh, Okay, down and jump. Yeah, I definitely can't high jump out of the boat. It's a bat. Okay, so it looks like we're at five second loads again. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually edit them this time. I'll just uh, maybe not always be silent for loads or try to be. Um, not sure what the best way of avoiding that one is, but we're coming up on a save point. Wait a minute. What would I have gotten that would let me do this area? Because I remember... Vaguely... What happens. I can't go the up path because I don't have some way to f trick the guard. Maybe... Maybe high jump will let me do something I couldn't before here? Well, let's talk to the guard. Get our memory refreshed a little. Then what do I do if it's not something we have access to? Okay. Humans are scourged on the planet, parent friend. Yeah, this is the same text. Okay. Those humans from Paveglia. Yeah, there's definitely not a Paveglia, right? Oh wait, there is. It's where the dive helmet is. Perhaps I missed out on my final reward from clearing the castle of ghosts. Possible. Actually, which way is it faster to get there? So this way I bypass two, three, four. This is like five screens, right? Alright, that would be pretty far left, but I, I kind of want to see if I can do anything here with high jump. Like, maybe I'll just get some treasures out of order. I've probably done this before, but... Oh yeah, it's just for that. Where is it? Oh. There's a banana! I ate the banana. Okay. Oh yeah, I think somebody wanted a banana, but I think I already gave it to them. I think it was related to the shark repellent. Okay. Wait. 
Have I not come here with the cannon? Oh. The cannon doesn't reach. But it did allow me to get rid of that dirt. I probably need an elemental bottle shot of some sort. Alright. What's in here? Carrots. Okay, the rain isn't an elemental effect. Hmm, if I had that wind thing going, it would probably, um... Oh, that's interesting. Um... It would probably do something, for sure, if I had that wind thing going. Uh, probably raise and lower that platform. So, since this is a secret, once you get the dirt out of the way, you can actually do that. Which does indeed raise and lower this. Hey, there's a person. Flags are great, don't you think so? They have so many uses, but personally I love that they make it easy to tell what direction the wind is going. How would you like to have a flag for your little bloat? It's only 200 coins. Sure. You bought a flag. Improves the glue scaps aesthetics. Shows you which way the wind is blowing. Amazing. Wait, didn't you have a fire going just a moment ago? You've been told that an ancestor of yours was a great hero. Wish you didn't know that, though. That's a lot to live up to. Your father wanted you to be a great hero, too, so what did you do? You ran away. Best thing you ever did. Amazing. Alright, we would need to get much higher in order to do anything relevant. I'm wondering if now that the thing is spinning, I can... Whoa! I apparently can't grab that without a high jump. Or I needed to tilt the platform better. Yeah, my platform tilting is just... I'm getting lazy about it. But I can be lazy. So we can't, like... Yeah, it's not actually being powered by wind, it's just spinning for no reason. Anyway, now that I did go one screen to the left to investigate that place, I believe it's faster to continue going left around the world. Let's see, how's my locks pick supply? Two. I forget how many coins the hat at the tree is. Wait, I have a legendary treasure since I last visited the museum. So yeah, part of the reason I wanted to come left was that I wanted to pass through the tree and buy the hat. But I have an even better reason to be coming left. It passes by the museum. And at the museum, we can hopefully get another thing. Oh wait. Right, I just read this elevator farther. Does it go even farther? Nice. Bypassing everything. So here should be where we got stopped, yeah. The mirror! How am I doing? I have five now. I didn't come here when I had four. Oh, that's awkward. See you later. Uh, found a mysterious scroll. It has symbols and illegible writing on it. Yeah, I don't speak that. Scroll of Huayn. That was the hero's name, right? Let's see, how many scrolls were there? Four. 
so I guess there is one per god plus one for the hero. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, okay. Huh? Can I not shoot down through that? Apparently not. I guess it's just the speed challenge? Yeah, okay. Fine. Oh, this is a crawling segment. I thought I just had the time dropping down really well. Go, 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 go. That might have been timed well enough. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, but we're blocked off at an awkward spot. I've now just got to climb back up. Yeah, I don't think those two saws were timed to let you go backwards. I feel like that's a bit of an oversight. Whatever, we'll still make it out just fine. Yeah, we can't take the elevator down yet. Alright, noted that uh, five treasures is a bad amount to visit with. Unless that scroll has something incredibly meaningful in it for the next time we pass through the city. I also said the town, but the town is probably better suited for describing our hometown. And the city is a city. What is the city's name, anyway? I should probably, like, be learning location names so I can talk about them. Gem of Rapid Oxidation allowed the hero to cast powerful columns of fire. So I guess all of these did things in the past. Orb of Revelation allowed the hero to communicate with gods. Temporal Ring granted the hero the ability to travel safely through other dimensions. Can I have it? <laughs> yeah, what do you have to say now? What should we do now? I'm afraid I don't have any leads on the legendary treasures right now, but my research has led me to the potential location of another nav pearl. Oh, you can get hints here. Okay, so you want to do it the hard way, huh? That's the true spirit of adventure. If you change my, your mind and want help, I'll be here continuing my research. Treasure detector in you. You may think all you need to find treasure is a reliable map, but you're wrong. The treasure detector is a tool no treasure hunter should be without. Any nav pearls you possess will automatically activate the detector when you're close to their target. Yeah, we, we know all this. We've tried it. If the treasure is indoors or deep in a cave, the detector will alert you to those entrances to those areas as well. Alright. Book of Rendition. Allowed the hero to instantly translate and understand any known language. Echo Mirror. Used as a shield to reflect spells back at the caster. All of these treasures seem more amazing than the things I've been picking up as equipment. <laughs> but, uh... That's fine. I guess our boots are pretty cool. The high jump boots. Besides that, though, like, we've got a shovel and our own hand. <laughs> oh, and the elemental jar. Uh, that thing's pretty cool. And we have a shrinking boat with a cannon. And the cannon shrinks, too. Which, considering we found them separately, is actually kind of strange. But I'll take it. Hmm. Any meaning f to up here? I think you need a high jump to get here. Uh, maybe it's just a really narrow, or er, not narrow, um, precise jump. I thought maybe the tree would be blocking a dig location. see, we're pretty close to the tree now, right? Just like two screens, then I can see if we can afford the hat, and then Paveglia, where we actually have been wanting to go for most of the episode. Um. 
is just a little farther. Okay, yeah, this is here. So I guess there were more screens than I remembered. With <laughs> I jump, you don't even need to do the puzzle with the boat. Oh, actually, there was a hat here that I wasn't able to get before. I think there's a shortcut to it on the left side of the mountain. Man, I do like zero damage with this hat on. Probably because I'm doing a lot of uncharged attacks as well. I might take the hat off soon. Especially if one of these other hats that I get this episode is better in some way. I probably wanted the other entrance to the cave. No, this is fine. This is exactly where I wanted to end up. Because, uh, over here... Yeah, there's something to burn that looks like it would lead to some variety of hat. But where do we get the fire, is the question. There's fire up there, but we can't crawl with it. Can't crawl with fire, still. It hasn't changed since I said it, like, a moment ago. I guess through the door, because you can carry things through doors. Could be either of these doors, in fact. Can I grab that? If I... high jump correctly to it? I don't think so. But, uh... Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, I needed to do that better. Maybe... okay, I can high jump from there. And that's basically the whole puzzle solved. Pow. We made it into the hat store. There's just money! There's no hat in the hat store. Unless it's buried here? No. I'm, like, moderately disappointed. I mean, maybe I needed that money to afford the hat in the tree, though. So let's, like, not be too disappointed. No, moving the block into the hat store wouldn't benefit me in any way. Wait. Let's go out the way we came in, because we know it'll actually put us on the left side of the island instead of into further caves. Could have hit up the save point for our health, but we're not that desperate. Considering where we're going. Let's see. Oh yeah, the hat store. <laughs> I somehow forgot what we were planning to do at the tree. Wait a minute, you can jump on these branches that I don't think I've ever really climbed up. For a second I wasn't sure if I needed my hook to be ready to attack in order to perform a high jump. But no, I just wasn't quite hitting it down all the way sometimes. What is the point of all of this? I don't think there was one. It's just, hey, you can jump on stuff. Anyway, we need the left side of the tree. Don't know if it matters which entrance I take. Oh yeah, can I like, do anything with these? I guess they're just the lights. I thought they would be like what I had to collect for that one spider's quest. But I have absolutely no interaction with them. Alright, pawn shop should be around here, yeah. And the hat shop is down here. Yes, what are you asking for that top hat? You specialize in this one hat. 
Bought a top hair and monocle. Makes us feel wealthy. Does it increase money drops? It just makes you feel wealthy. Oh, that's probably just where uh, the bug keeps its money. Not a secret for me to figure out how to get to. Anyway, it wouldn't surprise me if the makes you feel wealthy effect is actually increased money drops, but they just aren't saying it explicitly. Which also kind of makes me wish I bought the hat earlier. I just, I didn't know hats did things. <laughs> I tend to put off collectibles that don't do things. Alright, so here's the island that allegedly contains a hat that might fool that guard, except he says that he won't be fooled by it. So, like, who's the real winner? What do you have to say? To break the sequence, take the other direction in your game plus. Right. I've read your text before. Let's see. I definitely already did this. Where'd the king end up? Perhaps they've got- No, their reward was just that they opened the armory, right? Huh. There's secret money up there. But how would you ever get there? Cause... Oh wait! This guy's fire doesn't actually hurt, but- <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, high jump. What? How do you... I, I can't grab the side of the cage. So there's some sort of secret I've missed that drops you down there, I guess? It would have to be, like, under these stairs. Right? Oh, wait! I bet... Wida can grab it. This is probably not even worth doing. It was, what, like, 40 coins? Like, it's a challenge that was put in the game that I haven't done. Well, it's not exactly the most challenging thing. We did it. Got some coins. I probably got the rock from the upward direction. Or... I don't know. Or I probably had to deliver the rock to a button that was up here. Yeah, okay. Just checking the edges for secrets. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel the need to even go in the barracks right now. I guess one thing I should try, just for the sake of making sure that it's not actually the solution, I should bring some fire and shoot it at the ice that's outside. I'm fairly certain, though, that we need this island to somehow become sunny. Wait, I can't get up there with the bottle in my hands. Never mind.
Hmm. It's a squeaky sound for walking on the ice. I was listening to it for a bit. Let's see, what else is even on this island? Besides the castle. Okay, you are a human. You have nothing useful to say to me about masks. I don't like dig up your grave, do I? Okay, no. That would probably be in poor taste. Oh, I've been going 38 minutes. Even with editing, this is probably kind of long. But at the same time, I like didn't make any forward progress, so I want to keep going. Okay, you can go that way if you so desire. I talked to everyone, right? Maybe not you? Midge is reopening the general store. Back in the day, you could find anything you wanted there. His inventory is a little limited now, but I bet he has something you'd like. Maybe? In honor of you saving my soul, I would like to offer you a special one-time-only deal on this once popular item. In the old world, humans would wear this mask when they wanted to go unnoticed by uh, less friendly animals. Not everyone is as tolerant as the city's citizens of Paveglia City, you know. So what do you say, interested? Yeah? You bought an animal mask. Disguise yourself as an animal. We did it. We made progress this episode. <laughs> I mean, I also investigated a number of things, and... Well, we got that, uh... The scroll. That I don't remember where I got it. Already. Yeah, this mysterious scroll. Oh, and this, uh, specimen. So there are five other items for the house. One appears to be a TV. There's a flower. Maybe a computer? And that looks vaguely like a door. That looks sort of like a, a poster, maybe? Oh yeah, we got the top hat. We got two hats this episode. Super progress. Right there. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go left until the next save point. Oh, and we got the sale! So that's like four major items, counting the scroll. Yeah. I was actually hoping, considering the design on the guy's tent that sold the sale, that um, it was connected to these symbols. Oh, I bet there's some fantastic treasure in this temple. If only we could get inside. Maybe you should try reading from those scrolls we found? Dots. Not in the talkative mood? Fine, I'll do it. Otis. Creator of all insecta. Concern for self-determination. Virtuous through humility and harmony. Okay. So we need the scrolls to open this. Understood. And they must be translated, because the Huayn scroll didn't get read. Interesting, though, that... They respond to translations of themselves. You would think you could just try to work out the pronunciation of the words in the scroll without understanding it, and it would trigger the things. In fact, you'd think that's what you would have to do. I don't know, maybe the librarian provided translation or er, provided um not translations. Well, they did provide translations, but um provided a pronunciation guide, and maybe uh why'd I read both together, but it didn't bother showing the text we didn't understand. I don't know. Or at least it would make sense why you have to bring the scrolls to the librarian, if the librarian was telling us to have to pronounce ancient languages. Anyway, that will be it for this part. In the next part, I will sail back to where we started the episode, and we'll try that mask on that guy that uh, said he wouldn't be fooled by a mask. See ya!